Here's a hallway to which I've added a new floor and a woman standing in it. Let's add some reflections to make a shiny floor. Hold Command or Control and click on the floor's thumbnail to load it as a selection, and then we can inverse that selection to select everything else. We'll move to the background and make a new layer from this selection, and let's flip it vertically. We'll move this above the floor layer, hide the woman, and now we need to split this into two separate walls. We'll select the right hand wall with the marquee tool, and let's cut this to a new layer. We'll switch to the move tool and drag it down into place. We'll use free transform to shear it, hold shift and command or shift and control, and drag that side handle downwards. Let's do the same with the other part of the wall. Move it down, free transform again to shear it. And we can get rid of this awkward bit at the bottom of the column simply by using the eraser tool to rub that out. We'll duplicate the woman layer and flip it vertically. And we'll drag her down into place. Select all the reflection layers and use Command G or Control G to make a new group. And let's reduce the opacity of that group to just 50%. But those feet don't reflect properly. Use the lasso tool to select the side of the shoe that will be visible, make a new layer from it, move it down, and then now move that into the group as well. And there's our reflective floor. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel.